Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about Robert Sabukwe. And Robert Sabukwe was the organizer of the Anti-Pass March that happened on March 21st, 1960. And today is Human Rights Day in South Africa. It's also called the International Day to End Racial Discrimination. And it's a national holiday. Well, Robert Sabukwe um, founded the Pan-African Congress, yes. And Pan-African Congress now is not what he intended for it to be. Now, let me explain, okay? Yes, he did not want whites to join the anti-apartheid struggle. And that's where him and the African National Congress conflicted. But the only reason the African National Congress allowed it was because of Nelson Mandela. I firmly believe that. There was a lot of anti-white sentiment in the African National Congress. There still is. The only reason it was under control during the apartheid years was because Mandela um, had led it. Same with Mandela's presidency. Well, Mandela led it most of the way, and Mandela was a revered figure, so I should say. Um, so when he wasn't leading it, he was still a respected and revered figure within the African National Congress. So Mandela kept it under control. But, when, um, but now it's a different story since Nelson Mandela has passed away. Let's get, let's get back on topic. Okay, all right. Robert Sabukwe did not want whites to work in the anti-apartheid movement. And, but, here's the butt part, okay? Here's what you need to know. He felt like there were plenty of whites that were not, that were not racist. He felt like the, the, there were whites that were intellectually and genuinely committed to ending the apartheid system. But because even if they didn't directly benefit from the apartheid system, they indirectly benefited from it. And that's true. I mean, anybody who sees what happened during apartheid, if you were white, you benefited from it, whether if you wanted to or not. And he felt because of that, that the whites couldn't completely relate to him. That's number one. And number two, he didn't want whites to work with him, not out of reverse racism or racism, but because he didn't want... He wanted blacks to be completely self-reliant and not reliant on whites or any form of government. That's why he stressed entrepreneurship, education, business. Some people say he was more socialist. I don't think so. I just think he wanted to make sure that the government um, wasn't exploiting people. There's a big difference. So, and there in his writings and what the discussions he had with people, he was very clear that there was only one race, the human race. He didn't view blacks as superior, and he didn't view whites as inferior. He just felt like blacks needed to have equal rights, okay? Um, he said that sometimes with the apartheid establishment, um, that, some, that some whites, or in his case, most whites, but not all of them, that he thought they could be prejudiced against blacks, and that's, but this, it was the psychological mind of the government um, and what they were feeding them, not the skin color, that the skin color didn't cause racial prejudice, and, you know, I firmly believe, well, I don't really believe he was right on that. I believe he was right on the color not causing prejudice. Um, but I don't believe that most whites had the, those feelings toward black South Africans because of the referendum that happened before Mandela was elected. Um, the vast majority of white people in South Africa voted um, for the National Party to continue negotiations with the ANC. So I think Sabukwe was incorrect on one of the parts, but I think he was correct on one of them, that the color of the skin didn't cause prejudice. So... Don't be shouting anti-white slogans today. Don't be thinking that Sabukwe would condone what the Pan-African Congress is doing today. One settler, one bullet, or one white person, one kill, one white person, one bullet. No, Sabukwe would be appalled if he saw that today. That is not something he condoned, wanted, or supported. And that's something he was disgusted by and honestly disturbed by. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.